I'm Casey, a certified child passenger safety technician and senior brand manager for Graco Car Seats. In this video, I will teach you when it's time to switch car seats, modes of use, and methods of installation so you can truly feel confident that you have the right seat and fit for your child at every single stage. Before we start, it's always important to check both your car seat manual and your vehicle manual for guidelines and instructions for use and car seat installation. It's also important to ensure that you check your local and state laws, as well as the American Academy of Pediatrics and NHTSA's recommendations for car seat usage. Children should start out rear-facing, either with a rear-facing infant car seat or rear-facing in a convertible or all-in-one car seat. Children are safer riding rear-facing and should ride rear-facing as long as possible. An infant car seat can be used until your child reaches either the maximum weight or height specified by the car seat manufacturer. Typically, this is around 22 to 40 pounds and 30 to 35 inches. Once your child has outgrown the infant car seat, you should consider a convertible car seat or all-in-one car seat as your child's next seat. These car seats have higher rear-facing weight limits, so your child can stay rear-facing longer. Some car seats, like the Graco Extinifit, provide five inches of extra legroom and allow your child to stay rear-facing longer, up to 50 pounds. Once your child has hit the weight or height limit for the rear-facing mode of their car seat, which can range anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds, you should switch them to forward-facing harness mode. Now that your child is forward facing, you should ensure that you are installing the car seat with the top tether. If installing with the latch system, review your car seat and vehicle owner's manuals for latch system usage weight limits. Features like belt lockoffs and Graco's snug lock technology make installing with the seat belt simple. When forward facing, children should use the built-in five-point harness system for as long as possible until they reach the maximum forward facing weight or height for their car seat. For most convertible, all-in-one, and harness booster car seats, the forward-facing harness limit is 65 pounds. Some can go higher. Once children outgrow the height or weight limit for the forward-facing harness mode, they can transition to a belt positioning booster, which boosts your child's seated height to ensure a proper fit with the vehicle seat belt. Belt positioning boosters are available in two styles, high back and backless. High back boosters are ideal for children who need the support of a headrest and additional help with the shoulder belt placement. A properly fitted belt positioning booster should have the shoulder belt in the middle of the shoulder, not too close to the neck, but not hanging off of the child's shoulder. The lap belt should sit low on the thighs, not the abdomen. The vehicle seat belt should lie flat against the body without any twists. If using a backless booster or if your high back booster requires it, be sure that there is a head support from a vehicle head restraint behind the child's head to at least the top of the child's ears. And to use a backless booster, your child must be at least four years old, at least 40 pounds, and 43 to 57 inches. Your child should use the belt positioning booster until they reach the following requirements. Can sit all the way back against the vehicle seat, knees are bent at the edge of the vehicle seat, shoulder belt fits evenly across the shoulder, and vehicle seat belt is flat against the body, lap belt is low on the hips, touching the front of the thighs, can stay comfortably seated this way the entire ride. If all requirements are met, your child can graduate to the vehicle seat belt. Typically, this is when they reach four feet, nine inches tall, and are between the ages of eight and 12. It's recommended that children sit in the back seat through at least the age of 12. Here's a chart that shows each car seat type and our recommended age, weight, and height for each seat. Please note that this chart lists recommendations based on Graco car seats available in the market. With the information provided in this video by Graco, we hope that you'll feel more confident in knowing when it's time to switch your child's car seat. 